Okay, in this video we're going to be looking at introducing inequality symbols, okay, which will lead on to solving inequalities. Now you'll be used to using the equality symbol, so that's the equal sign, right? But the inequality symbols work in a similar way, but obviously the left hand side isn't going to be the same as the right hand side. So, what we can do is we can write something like this, okay, so these are the four inequality symbols and using one of them. What this means is that 3 is less than 5. Okay, so 3 is less than 5. I might have this, so 4 is greater than 1. So the way that it, sometimes it could be taught in primary schools is that the crocodile will always try to eat the larger number. Okay, it's aiming its mouth towards the larger number. So in this case, it's aiming its mouth towards the five because that's larger than the three. It's aiming its mouth towards the four because that's larger than the one. Okay, so it's eating it that way instead. So you might be able, you might be asked to put inequality symbols into um, something like this. Okay, making sure that you get the inequality symbol the right way round. And you'd be able to say, well, 4 is less than 8. And have the mouth pointing towards the larger number. So, that's two of them. You could also get something like this. And what that means is that x is less than or equal to Seven. So, you can put this kind of equal sign underneath, and that means that it could be less than or equal to it. And in a similar way, I might say that x is greater than or equal to eight. So, these are the four ways of using the inequality symbols, and we will have seen this before when we were doing grouped frequency, to put it into groups. So, you might want to look back at that and see how we used them before, but in the next step I'm going to show you how these can be represented on a number line.